Hey, what's good, everybody? It's is Sable Fighter 4 here with a TCG Online match. Of course, it's going to be Zacian V with Aegis Slash V Max ready to wreck, of course, using a bunch of metal Pokemon. Uh, for once, uh, a lot of my decks that I use energy acceleration or just some uh, kind of fun, well, fun in quotation marks. It's not fun when you lose. Uh, stage 1 and Stage 2 decks, but today we're using something a bit more serious, I guess. Zacian V is a very competitive, very meta Pokemon. And I would say the same for Aegislash V and Aegislash V Max. Those Pokemon are extremely good. Uh, if not, to just use Aegislash V as an excellent Pokemon to ignore effects and attack stuff like this eye to eye. So let's see, my opponent can open up with uh, Jirachis. I have a bunch of those in my deck too. We're going to try and make use of them, hopefully. And I uh, actually didn't see what he grabbed, but he's going to pass the turn. Wow, nothing else. So this would normally give me the opportunity to just win outright, since he didn't do anything. I do sympathize with my opponent. You know, this sort of new rules where you can't play supporters on the first turn, it does really suck. I mean, in the past, we couldn't play trainers or supporters, like in the DP era. But... You had ways to sort of uh, attack and grab Pokemon. You could attack. Uh, that was the rules. Or, you know, you could, um, uh, well, basically that. You could just attack or just use stuff like Call Energies. I guess now we have the Capture Energies, but Call Energy was even better in a way. Um, but anyway, I couldn't make an attack. Uh, got a few Jirachis, but couldn't really do much else. So attach the metal energy, and that was it. But we should have a much more explosive turn next turn. Uh, I've got metal energies, metal saucer. I've got the roller skater, too. And looks like my opponent is using the... Uh, I forgot what that bitch's name was. Uh, what was your name? Fuck, I actually used her recently, too. That sort of fighting gym trainer. Oh my god, it doesn't come to my mind now. But dump five cards to the top of your deck, and if you get any metal, if you get any energies, attach them to your fighting Pokemon, and it can be special too. So my opponent managed to grab two basic fighting energies and a stone energy. And I'm guessing this is what is going to be his deck, it's going to be about just abusing that um, a card. I, I can't remember her name, damn it. She's popular from Sword and Shield too. And just power up these uh, uh, Phalanx, I guess. Uh, she couldn't get more down, so this guy's pitiful HP isn't going to do it. So I managed to get my KO. You know, she got a big attack off at 210, but unfortunately it's not going to be enough to get the one hit KO on Zacian. And that gives me a good advantage, actually, because now she has to waste another attack to get her first two prizes. Whereas I use my big attack, I get two prizes instantly. Okay, and we're getting the second Zacian V ready too, so not bad. And actually gets Marnie with Jirachi, that's not good, because if you use that, it means you can't use uh, uh, whatever her name is. I swear to God, it's in the tip of my tongue. I used that card recently, but I don't remember her name. Oh, fuck. Damn, I mean, my brain is really fucked up anyway, so... We forget stuff. We forget stuff. Uh, so another Jirachi comes down. And uh, I didn't get the greatest hand with Marnie. But if I have Quick Ball, it means I can search. Uh, I can search the Dene. Force comes to worse. Should be in the deck. We can even get Eldegas, I suppose. And my opponent really isn't doing much. I mean, the challenge for me is basically going to be to switch, in fact. Uh, let's get to Dene since I have you over there. Makes the most sense. Uh, attach the coding energy, I guess. And, uh, like, I'm not even going to bother playing the counter stadium down. We're just going to try and search a Pokemon, get the Aegis Slash. Maybe I should have benched. Maybe I should have played the stadium, but whatever. Um, I doubt there's any stadium he can play that's really going to make a difference. Uh, I guess there's that uh, fighting stadium, like the martial arts, uh, training stadium, whatever it's called. So we're going to promote Jirachi 
discard with quick ball just to grab stuff and get the Elder Gods V, I guess. And I guess it's now it's up to Jirachi and seeing stuff. I get the Metal Saucer, exactly what I wanted to see in this case. It is a bit unfortunate doing this overkill attack and just knocking out a Jirachi. But it is what it is. I got to keep the pressure up. And the best part is the more prizes that I get, it just means the more unstoppable Aegis slash VMAX is going to be eventually when I get him out. Like, if you let your opponent get like three prizes and they're using Aegis slash VMAX, you let them get like three or four prizes and then they bring that guy out and he's ready to attack, you're probably not winning that game. Um, but anyways, let's see what it's going to do. So... Jirachi, Stellar Wish once again. I'm pretty sure he designed his deck around that uh, martial arts chick that uh, we're going to go through the end of the video, and I'm not going to remember her name. So, whatever. Gets Reset Stamp with Jirachi. Annoying card. Should have been banned from Standard, if you ask me, but whatever. It doesn't annoy me as much as it used to. Uh, I guess I'm used to it in a way. So, Marnie... I'm going to mess my hand that way. Uh, so I suppose the search for... The Jirachi search was basically pointless. If you grab that and you didn't use it. Okay. Uh, attaches a metal energy on a uh, fighting energy. And then goes for the Dene. Uh, dump your hand. Wow. But I mean, if you can't attack again... Just too passive, but I mean, I'm not surprised because I tried to use this deck in standard, like tried to build a deck around that fighting supporter in standard first before I went into expanded, and it didn't work out, and that's why I showed you guys in expanded. And even in expanded, it's kind of hit or miss uh, for the most part. So I know that it's extremely difficult to use in standard when you don't even have like Tapu Lele GX to instantly search it. Like... You need to have a very effective way to search it. Uh, never mind that you need to get a bit of luck with uh, the energies you dump so that you can actually attach them. Okay, so Jirachi, once again, um, my opponent, you know, not getting any knockouts just basically means that I gotta find ways to switch and attach energies as opposed to just promoting Jirachi straight up. So. We're going to start powering up Aegis Slash, I believe. And let me just put you back in hand. Scoop up Ned right there. Zacian once again to get a knockout. And once I kill this Jirachi, I mean, all I need to do is just KO one, one regular GX or V Pokemon. Just pull in that uh, Dedene is going to do it. Or even that Phalanx. Makes no difference. Man, he hasn't taken any prizes yet. He he damaged the Zacian V a lot. Just 10 short of a knockout, but nothing else. So passes the turn. Dude, you're not doing you're not giving me any challenge here. Um how am I supposed to showcase the strength of this Zacian deck if you're not doing shit? So I'm just gonna try and wrap this up. Uh, go with a Magnolia, dump a bunch of things, but it's because I know what I need. I just need energies. And like a way to switch. So Judge Whistle. Let's see what's up. Uh, Aegis slash VMAX. That's going to do it nicely here. Um, let me get rid of your tools with Tool Scrapper. So you don't have that plus either. I mean, at this point, it's basically my game. It's just only a matter of time. Like if he attacks, uh, if he gets a KO, I just KO him back. He can't win. If he doesn't do anything, I'm not going to attack this turn with Zacian, but I can attack on the next turn. So use Interpret Sword. Use the other Zacian, actually, because that one already has three energies. So maybe I attach an energy on the other one, too. And uh, that's basically it. Uh, you're not going to win. I don't know what he's going to do. Uh, recent Stamp. I guess he's going to try and mess with my hand, disrupt me, stall me out, but... When you're in this sort of position, uh, it's checkmate. So he tries and he pulled the Dedene GX, but this is desperation tactics that they're not going to win you the game. Like, if I was running a different deck, maybe. But Dedene has only one retreat. I just need to see one metal energy. What you need to do is, 
well, no matter what you do, you can't win. He needs to find a way to just promote a Pokemon that can get a KO and doesn't die against my attacks. But the thing is, it's really quite impossible since we got four prizes already. The moment Aegis slash VMAX can attack, uh, there's nothing he can do. And there she is, Bear. That's what she's called. Bear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bia, Bear. Whatever. Uh, Bay. <laughs> it's basically this sort of fighting gym leader chick from Sword and Shield. Her name is actually quite easy. I don't know how I forgot it. I used this deck quite a bit in Expanded. I tried and used it in Standard. I reviewed the card. Damn it. Anyway. So Bea was the name of the card. So he finally promotes Phalanx. Gets a KO. Uh, killed the, Dede the Dedenia though. So that's not going to be good. And he might have something going here. So he got a bunch of Phalanxes. And because of the stone energy and those guys too, that guy's ability blocks 20 damage for each Phalanx on the field. So with 3, he's blocking 60 damage, so that's quite a bit. And with the stone energy, I think I'm basically... He's blocking like 80 damage total. So it's like he has uh, 240 HP. So Zassian can't quite do it, I think. If my math is right... Zacian can't quite do it. So what I want right now is I want a way to get an energy on the Aegis slash VMAX. He can definitely do it. And we do see it with the Skyla. Get the Metal Saucer. I knew that it was in the deck. Um, use Stellar Wish, but I mean, there's not really much point. Get the boss's Orders. I could even go that route and just win on the next turn. But we can just do enough damage with Aegis slash. So, scoop up net, Aegis slash VMAX, and... Uh, just get the KO with Max Hack. It's a GG. So my opponent tried uh, using this deck, but it wasn't enough. It's not consistent. It's not very effective. So GG to me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. What's up?